first tonight, Greensboro Police Chief Brian James says we are on a dangerous path if we don't make a change to stop violence now. He says the city is on track to meet or even surpass last year's number of homicides, which was a record. Chief James sat down with WFMY News 2's Jenna Kurzina to talk about what is being done to stop the violence. Julie and Chad, in 2020, Greensboro hit a record high with 63 homicides. Right now, with still two months left in the year to go, we're at 45. Chief James says we must do something different because what's being done right now isn't working. Right now, not every person in this community feels safe. Greensboro Police Chief Brian James is sounding the alarm again on the number of lives lost in the city this year. On Monday night, he spoke to city council about his concern. Since January 1 of last year, we've had 108 homicides in Greensboro. We've had 108 total, and all of those lives were valuable, especially to their families. In order to stop violent crime, the chief says it's going to take more than the police department. Police don't have all the answers to crime because oftentimes we are responding to a crime after it's already occurred. It's a feeling of disappointment for James to see the number so high. We had a period this year where we had about 60 plus days uh, where we did not have a homicide, you know, but unfortunately after we had this period where we were seeing a lot of progress and a, reducing, a reduction in violence, then we see this huge uptick over the last several months. While there have been some positives, like setting a record of getting 1,500 guns off the street this year, James says there needs to be a way to prevent crime from happening. We still have a number of violent crime incidents involving guns in town, and so it lets you know that there's something going on that, that we're not reaching, and I think that that's a bigger community issue. GPD has put more focus on violent crime areas, but overall, Chief James says they need to figure out the root of the problem. We have to look at it as a city from a holistic standpoint, how we can actually reduce our crime numbers and give the people that live here some hope for the future. Chief James says staffing is also a concern. He wants to take a closer look at how to retain and attract new hires.